It's a real kind of clever way to work your shoulders and get the most bang for your buck when it comes to time. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillie with Live Anabolic. And today, I'm gonna step you through four different exercises specifically for our shoulders. Guys, I love working my shoulders. A lot of people kind of ignore it. They just think it's a small muscle group. They really like to focus on their chest, maybe a back a little bit, arms of course. But, but you guys really need to pay a ton of attention to your shoulders for several reasons. So let me go through them real quick. First of all, shoulders, having big shoulders makes you look wide, all right? And no matter how much or how little body fat you have, wide shoulders makes your waist look smaller. So it's a great optical illusion or trick to make it look like you have less belly fat, all right? So that's one great reason. Matter of fact, if there's no other reason than that, that that's that's enough to really hit our shoulders hard secondly guys your shoulder is the most flexible joint in your entire body but because of that it's also your weakest joint so especially as we get older i'm 59 years old we got to be really careful about how we work out our shoulders and and i want to just go over something real real quick with you and that is you can't ego lift all right, I see this at the gym. At home, it's not so much of a problem because you don't have people watching you, all right? But I see people ego lift way too much. And that means basically, you're just lifting more weight than you should be. And as a result of that, you have to use crummy form to get the weight up. And the whole reason you're doing more weight than you should be is because other people are looking and you wanna impress them, all right? So our shoulders and these movements that I'm gonna show you, <clears throat> require you to use really lightweight. So don't be embarrassed or upset if you're only using five pounds or 10 pound dumbbells, okay? That's fine because it's the time under tension and the mind muscle connection that I want you guys to work on because that, as opposed to heavy weights, is what's really gonna build your muscle. All right, but before I get into all the different exercises for our shoulders, I really wanna give you guys a fantastic resource that you need to know about. So click the link below this video. It'll take you to our Facebook group, all right? It's a free resource. We probably have the biggest and without a doubt, the best fitness site on Facebook in the entire world, okay? We got over 10,000 members now and it's all, it's all focused on people like you and me. I mean, guys over 40, basically. So, you know, we're not doing a bunch of crazy stuff in there for 20 year olds. It's, it's a bunch of people like you and me that have the same goals about losing fat, putting on muscle, getting in shape, all right? Turning their life around. And it's really cool. People all over the world telling their stories, posting pics, asking questions. I'm on the, the group every single day answering everybody's questions. I mean, I'm the moderator of the group, so I'm always there and it's fun. We get, we post a lot of fun stuff. So it's free guys, there's no reason not to join the group. All right, so guys, the, you're gonna notice that these exercises focus on different parts of your shoulder. So remember, there's three distinct muscle groups to our shoulder, okay? We, we got a muscle in the, in the front here, all right? We have muscles on the side and of course in the rear. So, I like to use completely different exercises to kind of target all three muscle groups. Now, some of, of these exercises will engage more than one muscle group at a time. So we're not just hitting one head of the shoulder, okay? But still, I want to focus on all of them differently. And that way, what I like to do is I will hit one muscle group with a very specific kind of isolation exercise and then rest and then hit a different muscle group. So I leave, I let the first one rest while I'm hitting the second and third group. It's a, it's a real kind of clever way to work your shoulders and get the most bang for your buck when it comes to time. So the first one is my favorite, guys. Everything I'm gonna be doing today is just with some light dumbbells. And these are called lateral dumbbell raises. So of course we're focusing on the outer head of the shoulders. So I'm just bringing the weights up here. Now, guys, See the bend in my elbow? I don't have my arms straight out, okay? And I keep that bend consistent throughout the full range of motion. And then the other thing, guys, is look, 
Look at the tempo. So I'm lifting the weights with my shoulder muscles and then I'm controlling the weight on the downward movement. So this is what I see people do wrong at the gym all the time. They'll So they get that swinging motion going. And when you, when you start swinging the weight like that, you're really not engaging the muscle fibers much. Matter of fact, just yesterday at the gym, a young 18 year old kid came up to me. He sees me in there training all the time. And he was saying, why, why aren't my shoulders getting sore? <laughs> and all I did was tell him to slow it down just a little bit, maybe even hold it for a one count at the top. And he did 10 reps of that and his shoulders were burning and he was using less weight than when he was working out prior to me giving him advice. So lateral dumbbell raises are fantastic, guys. Okay, so exercise number two is gonna focus on the rear part of our shoulders. These are called rear delt raises. So before I start demonstrating with the dumbbells, I wanna do this just with my hands. So you need to sit down someplace, and I get my butt way out near the, the end of the chair or the couch or whatever, okay? And then when we grab the dumbbells, we're gonna bend over and we're gonna keep our head looking straight down and keep it still. And I'm gonna hold the dumbbells in my hands like this. And I'm going to raise the dumbbells and I'm gonna really focus on getting my elbows up, okay? The other thing I want you to do is notice the hand position. So I hold, hold the dumbbells as I raise them up. My pinky is gonna be pointing up towards the ceiling, all right? So a lot of people do it like this, where their palms are facing down, okay? See how my pinky's facing backwards? So I don't want my palms facing down when I'm holding these dumbbells. I want my palms facing backwards, okay? My pinky's at the top. That will focus the movement more on the rear part of your shoulder. If you don't do your hand placement correctly, all right, if you do it with the palms facing down, You'll still get some of the rear shoulder, but you'll engage a lot of the lateral head of your delt. And we just did that, all right? So that's not what this exercise is about. All right, here we go. Keep my head down. And I'm raising the weight up. All right? I'm not swaying with my upper body. I'm not yanking the weight up. Now, because I'm sitting on a couch, it also helps to prevent me from doing the form wrong because I see a lot of people at the gym or if you're sitting on like a workout bench where there's nothing behind you here, when they bring the weight up, they bring it too far back, all right? So they bring the dumbbells back here as opposed to up here in line with your shoulders. So when you bring it back here, okay, you start engaging a lot of your back muscles, all right? So we're trying to avoid that. This is not a back workout day. We're really trying to specifically target our shoulders. So the best way to do that is to keep your pinkies up facing towards the ceiling or your palms would be facing back behind you. Keep your head down, okay? And then make sure your hands come straight out here. The dumbbells are gonna make like a straight line with your shoulders, not back here but up here. If you do this correctly, guys, you will not be able to use much weight, okay? So maybe five or 10 pounds, and that's about it. You should be able to really start to feel those muscles burning in the back of your shoulder. And once again, you don't need to lock your elbows out, all right? So you're gonna have a nice little bend, all right? And you keep that bend throughout the full range of motion. Okay, so the third exercise for our shoulders it's something called an Arnold press. Oh, and he actually did invent this, Arnold Schwarzenegger, way back in the 70s. Now you can do this seated or standing. It's really up to you guys. I'm gonna do it standing just to kind of give you a demonstration here. But once again, you're not gonna be able to use a lot of weight here, all right? So it's more about the form and that mind-muscle connection and getting that burn, you know, in the muscles. Okay, that's the lactic acid. So that's what we're looking for. We're not looking to push a lot of weight up over our head. Now, some of you guys may not be able to do this if you have really bad shoulders, okay? Some people just can't get their hands up above their head because it, it, it really messes things up as far as their shoulder joint is concerned. And so if you have injuries like that, you're gonna have to skip this one, all right? Or 
If you have injuries and you can do it, but just with either no weight or just real lightweight, try that, okay? So, Arnold presses. <clears throat> it's a little different here, guys. So I'm gonna bring it up and I have the dumbbells and my palms facing, all right? Facing my chest, all right? So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna push these weights up over my head like a military press. But as I go, I'm gonna rotate. And back down, I rotate back to the starting position. So it's rotate up, rotate down, up, down. And then also guys, if this exercise while you're standing, okay, if it starts to put a little stress on your lower back, if it feels a little bit uncomfortable, the easiest solution, all right? All you gotta do is just barely bend your knees. I mean, just put a little one inch bend in your knees. And as soon as you do that, it's gonna take all that stress off your lower back. So you can do them lock need if it doesn't bother you, okay, with straight legs. But if you start to feel it down there in the lower part of your back, all you gotta do is just barely bend your knees and then keep doing the movement. This exercise <laughs> hits several different muscle groups in your shoulder all at once, so it's really gonna start burning. Okay, so the fourth and final exercise is gonna target our front part of our shoulders, okay? So that's our anterior delt. We got the posterior and then the lateral. So there's a couple of different ways to do this, guys, and I actually went down to a, a lighter weight. All right, so you guys are gonna have to kind of experiment with how strong your shoulders are doing different exercises. But these front delt raises, okay, you're gonna have to use less weight. And the reason is because we're gonna keep our arms pretty straight. And when your arms are straight, the weight is way out further away from your shoulder joint, which means it has a lot more leverage over your muscles. So guys, there's a couple of different ways to do this. You can do it this way where your palms are in a neutral position and when you bring the dumbbells up, your palms are actually facing each other or you can bring it up so that your palms are facing down. So I'm gonna put the dumbbells down real quick and demonstrate, all right? So we got this method. So if my hands were open, my palms would be facing me, all right? And then we got this method. So if I'm holding the dumbbells, and I open my hands, my palms will be facing down. Either way is gonna really target your anterior delts. But guys, depending on your shoulder joint, and if you have any you know, pre-existing injuries, you're gonna have to experiment and listen to your body. So some guys are gonna go, oh, that feels fine, but if you do that, it really hurts. And some guys, the other way around. So just experiment with different hand positions and see which one works the best for you. All right, guys, so hopefully you, you got some good pointers out of those four different shoulder exercises. Some of you guys are gonna have problems doing one or two of them, that's fine. Focus on the exercises that work best for you, especially if you have some pre-existing injuries. And then finally, guys, don't forget to join our Facebook group. It's, it's free, it is a blast, tons of really cool guys on there. I mean, people, that are trying to lose 70, 80, 100 pounds, people who've already lost huge amounts of weight, people who are putting on a lot of muscle. I mean, fantastic success stories, people motivating each other. It's not just me. It's thousands of people around the world doing the same thing. So guys, it's a free resource for you. Just click the link below this video and then finally, come on guys, you gotta stick with it and never give up on yourself.